agitations of the indigenous people of Biafra group IPOP has been a source of constant worry to the five governors of the East and even the federal government. The group has been largely accused of being behind many dangerous attacks on security personnel and government facilities, leading to loss of lives and the destruction of several properties worth huge amounts of Naira in the Southeast. At this, as these attacks persisted, President Buhari was relatively quiet and allowed the various security agencies in the country to do their job, which is to take large of the situation and secure Nigerian lives. However, when the situation seemed to be getting out of hand, the president took charge of the situation and issued a strong warning via his Twitter handle, stating that IPOP and its operatives would be treated in the language they understand. In a recent video, the president clarified his statement, saying that the secessionist group can be compared to just a dot in a circle. The president also stated that even if IPOP members want to go, they do not have access to anywhere. Continuing, Buhari affirmed that with the way Igbo properties are and businesses are scattered across the country, he does not believe that IPOP members understand the demands they are making. The president ended by retreating his Twitter statement about treating IPOP and secessionists in the language that they would understand by sending military and police operatives after them. The president's speech has now been interpreted by some to mean that the Igbos in the country are like a tiny dot in a big circle. Hence, the reaction from the Youth Council of the Oranese in Igbo. The youth charged the president to retract his statements as they describe it as being offensive to Igbos in the country. The Oranese Youth Council, OYC, through its president general, Mazi Oku Nabuike, issued a statement after their meeting in Enugu expressing disappointment at the president's statement. The OYC retreated that the statement from the sitting president was quite unacceptable as it was capable of paving way for an increase in the onslaught against the Igbo in the country. The OYC condemned the profiling of IPOP as a terrorist organization, describing it as being a hasty move by Buhari-led administration. It lamented that the president's recent dot in the circle statement is one capable of further increasing the recent arrest and massacre of innocent Igbo youth thought to be members of IPOP. The OYC further rejected the tag of terrorism that have been subtly placed on the Igbo people as they wondered why the authorities were silent when others carry out carnage in the country. Indeed, the Igbo youth have strongly reacted to the president's statement. However, it is important to state that the president may have been referring to members of IPOP and not the Igbo's people when he made the statement that the army and police would be drafted to pursue them. However, the Igbo youth seem to be having none of it as they called for a retraction of the statement as they believed it could be misinterpreted. What? Okay. Um, what are the opinions of many, even those who are not from that uh, region? Well, the man has said what he has said, and he meant what he meant. Of course, the people who are always talking about uh, finding the embers of war, they will not see the, all these kind of statements. They won't see it as anything. Now, it's not that uh, Oranese wants to come and be talking about uh, the prescription placed on them. <laughs> Well, honestly, Buhari finished Igbos with that statement. In other words, they are insignificant, inconsequential, uh, trivia, minute, unimportant, and unnecessary. Can someone please help me with other synonymous words? Okay. Uh, the same God that helps the people of Israel will do something. Uh, another thing is that uh, Buhari is, uh, is Pharaoh of Egypt that said that children of Israel will not go and save their God, but God of Israel will visit him with a plague. Many Israelites disobeyed God and their prophets. Okay. Uh, I can't even blame him. Obviously, it is very easy to marginalize the Igbos because the only area they are smart is business uh, cheat. That is it. Their leaders are not making matter. They are making matter worse. Uh, since you see them as dots in the circle, why are you having sleepless nights over the agitation? Allow them to go and see how 
that dot in the circle will turn to the biggest city in Africa. I don't blame Buhari, it's Igbo leaders that don't support their people. We Igbos are yet to have many leaders. We have only one or two leaders in person of Namde Kano, and only God knows who all the parasites parading themselves as Igbo leaders are just rulers. Why the dot is a monumental headache to Buhari and Northerners. But the marginalization of the Igbo is too much. The president's speech is not for unity. Remember Nemesis. Okay. Has the Igbo been peaceful since Buhari resumed office? Because Buhari said the people who gave him 5% is not to con concentrate on them. The man, the man does not know how to talk. Honestly, he doesn't know how to talk. He does not know how to talk. I wonder if that kind of, that kind of man, how he's going to be talking at home. You can imagine. Understand it very well. Does he know the meaning of dots? The answer is no. Maybe Femi or Gabashe just wrote and passed over and he read it. Illiterate Katurera leading a whole Nigeria of all people. Of course, he was not even reading anything. He just said it from his heart. He said it from his heart. Yes, no apology. We will talk to you in the language you understand. We? Did you say we? Huh? Who are we? Identify yourself. Now the president has given you people a piece of advice and you are trembled by his statement. I thought you people said he cannot speak to the nation. In fact, Buhari is, is, is not normal. Buhari is an Amajiri president and terrorist. What do you expect? The truth is that the president has continued to exhibit his unrefined nature with his unpresidential rhetoric, which is no measure in helping Nigeria as a nation. And this writer, evidently a self-made Buhari spin doctor, justifies the president's use of IPOP and Igbo interchangeably as if all Igbos are IPOP. Thank you for letting the Igbos know that they are dots in a circle, but needless to say, when a sentence is made and it ends with a dot, full stop, it signifies the end of such sentence. I think you need to read the handwriting on the wall. Okay. Mene mene teke. Okay. Biafra slowly but surely surely. Well, um Buhari's statement sounds like a statement from a man that has no has so much hatred for the Igbos. It's, it is well written, it is well written all over him. Much hatred for the Igbos because such statement has never been made about Esmen or Boko Haram. No apology to the Igbo because I hate you guys, illiterate people that don't seem to understand simple statement. Hmm. You will still eat your flesh and drink your own blood. <laughs> My brother, the problem of Nigeria is interpretation. The same one make a statement, people will interpret it wrongly. What does that mean, interpret it wrongly? I don't know. When you people have to talk, you don't even talk, you don't even think. What does that mean? <laughs> I think those who are who are justifying a statement, the, the, the something is something is really wrong somewhere with them as you know from what i can see so guys let's say your opinion concerning this